Hey, welcome everybody, this is Grimcad, and we are going to be starting a new game today. It's Mech Commander 2. This is one of those old RTS games set back in the uh, Battletech Mech Warrior universe. And uh, one of my favorite old RTSs of, you know, pre-2000 years. And uh, we're going to be jumping right in on the Carver 5 campaign. And massive damage in what looks to be... More fighting could erupt at any moment. Certainly confusing times. The question of where to place loyalty. Across the Inner Sphere, the civil war between the noble houses continues. Open warfare has divided the Federated Commonwealth in several... The conflict between House Steiner and House Davion rages on. New tensions in the Chaos March threaten to again spark fighting between former comrades. Colonel David Renard and his executive officer, Major Kelly, have peacefully divided the command of their forces on Carver 5. The longtime friends carefully separated their troops into House Steiner and House Davian military containment zones. Colonel Renard had this to say about the Davian withdrawal. We needed time to, uh, to regroup, to look at ourselves, uh, ask who we were. Where did our loyalties truly lie? For me, and the brave men and women under my command, the answer was clear. They were with Archon Katrina Steiner. They weren't with any rebels. But I am here to tell you, the first shot will not be fired by anyone under my command. This was the scene on Carver 5 just two days ago. In a series of daring raids, a banded army consisting of tanks and light battle mechs seized several Steiner outposts, stealing supplies and capturing several weapon facilities. Archon Katrina Steiner was quick to rule out the deployment of additional troops to deal with the bandit threat. Sending additional Steiner forces to Carver 5 will give the Davian rebels another excuse to bathe a peaceful planet in blood. An alternative solution must be found. Nerves are certainly frayed in the Steiner territory. Refugees continue to stream from the planet. Still more bandit attacks. The mercenaries are due to arrive shortly, ending weeks of speculation. I'll ask you again. Was it smart for the Archon to hire mercenaries to deal with the bandit army on Carver 5? Of course it was smart. It was the best thing she could have done. Think about it. Mercenaries don't care about sides or politics. They care about getting paid. All of the great houses use them. Liao, Karida, Merrick, even your precious Davians use them. That's why the Davian commander has agreed to this solution. Kelly knows that once the bandits are dealt with, the mercenaries will pull out. Looks like we're already famous, Commander. They think we won't be staying long, but based on the supplies you ordered, I'd say you've got other plans. Okay, now I've played a little bit, got all the settings working again. So I, I'm pretty sure I've got the audio. I had a little bit of trouble with that. For some reason, I didn't want to record my voice over it. So check. One, two, check. Dive right this is Tactical in. Officer Diaz. All right, sir, we're on live. Bedcom software is pretty reliable, but we need to run some systems checks to make sure we're fully operational. At the beginning of each mission, you should review our objectives. You can access them at any time by hitting the objectives button. Welcome to Carver 5, Commander. I'm Colonel Renard. While under contract with House Steiner, you will be taking your orders from me. A bandit scouting party has entered the area. I suspect they're here to get a glimpse of you. Time to earn your money. Here we go, sir. Objective 1 is to investigate an abandoned airfield for bandits. The airfield is located at the number 1 on the tactical map at the lower left of the screen. Good. Let's do a weapon test before we engage any hostiles. Order all right units here. to destroy Keep that mind. hangar over there. <laughs> yeah, I think my weapons are fine. I've been testing them out already. <laughs> um, MechWire isn't a game that's seen a whole lot of uh, popularity in recent years. It used to be real good popular pre-90s like I said before, but there hasn't I'm been much with it in recent 
reason. Supposedly there's a Mech Warrior 5 coming out real soon. Um, I don't know, I think it's actually going to be canceled, but, but you know, you play giant walking mechs, which are, you know, multiple ton large walking tanks, basically. It's not really a new concept or anything like that by any means. With different loadouts of weapons. And this one, it's purely an RTS. You can see down here, I have three different mechs, three different pilots. We choose our pilots based on skills, gunnery, piloting skills, different weapon things. Nice work, Commander. We should repair our units before engaging our enemies. Check your support tab and call in a repair truck. Remember that support is limited by our resource points, or RPs, so don't waste them. Which we're not going to do that, because we're not hurt at all, there's no point. All you gotta do is make it to the nav point. <laughs> Objective complete. Sir, we've got more bandits on the other side of this forest. Even though our line of sight is blocked, we can still detect them using the sensors on our Razorback and Back Scott. Here. Locking in target. are back right here. He's a lighter back. He's there like 55 tons. He's only like 30 tons back. These little things called urban max, they're real light max too. So we're out. No problem freezing right through them. And we won't have a problem with freezing through things for a while. You guys will be able to see damage on the max down here on the Objective complete. So what Here's a good Rose opportunity to salvage an enemy mech, Commander. Roger that. Select the salvage craft from our support tab and target a disabled urban mech. One of our mech warriors will fly in and take control of it. We salvage some mechs. Basically, we put our own pilot in there and we can use him for the rest of the mission. And I think. I think we automatically salvage it at the end too, but I'm not entirely sure about that. But we're not going to salvage both of them, and we're not even going to use that guy, Meat, right now. Because, you know, the mech's all damaged. No point in getting the guy killed. We got enough points. Mech power up detected. These guys right are pretty well equipped for bandits. Salvage another one. We're going to get a bigger mech. Usually lighter mechs are faster than uh, the heavier mechs. Um, that is not the case with those urban mechs. They're supposed to be incredibly cheap to make. Mac, they are. They're not very nice work, good at man. all. That <laughs> looks like all of them. Roger I've got that. Colonel Bernard Bernard standing on by. The way. select say one of our bushwhackers and hit this tab we can see he's a 55 ton mech we can see his paper doll again and we can see what weapons he has now I have ammo turned on so for instance this medium auto cannon right here he only has 17 shots left with that these LRMs which are long-range missiles he has 41 shots although the missiles use a bit more we can see the little pilot stats here. He's still green. He's got a 48 gunnery skill and a 49 weapon skill, which is eh, pretty Objective mediocre, complete. but you're not going to get much better. This is me getting paid for each of the missions that I've accomplished. I got for 49,000 or so. It's actually hard for me to read. Mission successful. 
then we get a pilot review and we see what each kill they get medals they get Mech promoted Warrior promoted to regular and when they get promoted i get to choose a new talent for them as it will for flash she's a light one so i'm going to give her a sensor specialist so the sensors in the lighter mechs will reach farther so I'll know what's around me which is a pretty good idea Hacksaw didn't have a single kill <laughs> Longshot must have had a bunch then yeah she still didn't level them me of course didn't have a kill which, yeah, he didn't have a single kill either. And we can scroll back up. I thought you could hover over and it would tell you what it was, but apparently not. You just have to know. But we'll move on. Well done, Commander. This is Ambassador Yi, House Steiner's political representative on Carver 5. A pleasure, Commander. You handle yourself well. Remember, you may have no contact with Davian forces. You're here to prevent a war, not start one. Carver 5 was once held by House Liao, and there still is a sizable population of Liao loyalists here. You are warned to stay well away from them. We want to know incidents. Let's get on with it. The bandits have taken one of my outposts. I want it back. Your tactical officer will give you the specifics. Recapture the outpost, Commander. I want this over as soon as possible. Our orders are to handle this quietly, sir. <laughs> I'd be embarrassed if bandits took one of my outposts, too. <clears throat> the bandits seem limited to short and medium range weapons, so remember to bring in some long range mechs. Okay, this is obviously the uh, mission briefing screen. Um, our mission is to capture the resource building and then destroy all the bandits in the area. Bandit forces surprise and capture in Steiner base Gemini in the Atom Sector, forcing the garrison station there to retreat. Colonel Renard has postponed most of his meetings because of this and has ordered hourly updates on the situation so the base has been recaptured. Your orders are to eliminate bandit presence at base Gemini and recapture the headquarters building. Steiner Recon reports bandit's composition of urban mech and fire ant battle mechs with significant LRM carrier and hover tank support. Tactical officer notes, bandits took a Steiner base, I'd hate to be the officer that let that happen. I know urban mechs carrying medium range auto cannons, while fire ants are mostly armed with short range flamers. I'd suggest a good long range max with some short range backup. You don't want to get yourself into a knife fight if all you've got are LRMs. The bandits use a lot of vehicles too, which are slower going uphill. So if you're getting swarmed by a bunch of centipedes, move to the top of the hill and pick them off as they try to come after you. This is our Mech Bay, Commander. Here you decide which mechs we take on the next mission by placing them on the deployment team. You're only limited by how much team weight we can transport to the deployment zone. So we're going to pull that urban mech way off real quick. We're going to pull this Star Slayer off. We're going to add our Bushwhacker back. We're going to add our Razor back. back. And you know what? We are going to add an urban mech. You can see here, 55 tons, the weapon armament, loadout rather, gives it a medium range. It's got 144 points of armor, it's got an 86 move speed, it does not have jump jets. Um, a little scout and razor mech does. Right down here you can see the weapon loadout, three machine guns, medium armor cannon, a PPC, which is a particle of projection damage to cannon, sorry does high damage and long range, but it makes a lot of heat. LRMs, which like I said before are long range missiles, and uh, an extra point of armor. Both of those are the same. Razorback's got streak SRMs with their short range missiles. 